Hi guys, welcome to another Unix video session. In this video session, we will try to understand Unix editors. What is an editor? How these editors we are using to implement shell programming? Initially, who developed editors? How these editors are changed the names one by one? The history also we will try to view in this video session. Editors popularly known as ASCII formatted files. These files popularly known as text files. These text files alias name is called flat files flat files. So, finally, editors popularly known as ASCII formatted files, popularly known as text files and alias name is flat files. And these alias names before in 1970s, the editors concept first time implemented by Ken Thompson, B language father. This S indicates a decade, decade in the sense 1970 to 79. In the decade approximately when we are going to write a date, we are using S. In 1970s, B language father Ken Thompson first time this editor's concept implemented in AT and T popularly known as Bell Laboratories and full form is American Telephone and Telegraph. The implemented in 1970s the first editor name is called Qued. Full form is Quick Editor. It is a first editor in software industry officially. And this editor mainly implemented for B language programming purpose and execution purpose. Later, he found some loopholes in Quick Editor. He found some loopholes in Quick Editor. Then he renamed Qued to FRED Fred. Fred popularly known as friendly editor. And almost all, all drawbacks, whatever available inside Qued means inside Qued, and all recovered in the form of Fred. It is friendly editor. It is a friendly editor. Again, some more drawbacks in the Fred. Fred later renamed as ED. This is known as editor or standard editor. In some books also it is available. Standard editor. Later, these loopholes to recover again ed renamed as ex ex is nothing but extended editor extended editor or advanced editor so this is a line editor practically we can see these line editors information later from ei VI implemented. This is visual editor for Unix flowers. Visual editor. Later in Linux flowers, VI am released. This is visually improved for Linux flowers. Like this, Editors having 
a big history in Unix and Linux environments. Nowadays, we are using different different editors in CUI as well as in GUI, command user interface areas and graphical user interface areas. VIM, Gedit, Emacs, all these are comes under Linux flavors. And Quad, Fred, ED, EX, VI, all these are comes under Unix flavors. This is editors just overview. So, whenever we are going to write our shell programs, we are using VI editor. Of course, VIM also we are using. I will show you practically ED, EX, VI as well as VIM. So, these are the line editors. Line editors means we can able to display complete line at a time. We cannot move the cursor to a character position. Whereas, come to VI, it is having several alias names also. VI editor having different different names. Screen editor, user friendly editor, character editor, like the different alias names available. VI editor is a sophisticated comfort easily we can implement shell programming. There are the several commands available in VI. These commands are used to move the cursor from left to right, right to left, top to bottom, bottom to top, edit, delete, delete lines, delete line, edit end of the line, edit middle of the line, edit starting of the line, like this several commands available in the VI editor. Once you are going to VI editor, mainly it has three modes. One is command mode, second one insert mode, third one is ex command mode. So, by default mode is command mode. In this mode, we can execute different commands. You want to enter some data, you want to edit, you want to modify, you want to delete, you want to do some other kind of operations, then you need to press I. I it is converting command mode into insert mode. Once it is converted insert mode, as a user, you can perform different actions in VI editor. Again, insert mode to you want to come back to, previous mode is called command mode, then you need to press escape button. In that escape button, once you press it, it will come back to your command mode. In that command mode, you can run ex command mode, executable. Shift colon you are pressing, that is a prompt for the ex command mode. And you can write several characters, w to save the latest modifications, q to quit from the current file, means current file in the sense whatever the file you opened, you modified or you created. WQ, save and quit. Exclamation Q is forcefully quit like this different different commands available in VI editor. So, this VI editor practically how we are going to implement some kind of programs or shell scripts, we will try to observe, right, we will observe practically one by one the editors among whatever the editors explained, quad, fred and ed. EX, VI, VIM. Among these editors, frequently used editors are ED, EX, VI. When you are coming to ED, standard editor, EX, extended or advanced editor. These two are comes under line editors. Step by step, we can see. ED, this is known as line editors, means a user can make changes only line level. Already made those points very clearly. So, practically, we will try to view that. There are some files available here, ED and file name. When you are hitting the return key, it is giving number of characters. 
So, by default, standard editor displaying number of characters on the device, standard output device, 94 characters. If you want to see first line, 1 enter, second line, 2 enter, fourth line, 4 enter, but you want to see couple of lines, not possible here. At a time, we can able to view only one line. For example, the line is not existed. I want to enter 9, press. When line is not existed, it is displaying question mark. Question mark indicates line not existed. Q, quit. So, this is ED. EX editor, extended editor. Same command and I am changing D place with X, extended editor, observe bottom of the screen and once you are coming to bottom of the screen, file name, number of lines, number of characters, entering X mode, the visual to go to the normal mode, definitely. Now, I want to see first line, third line, I want to see first to third lines, one comma three, not hyphen, to see the range of lines. If you, if you say Q, it is quit from the EX mode and they made already entering EX mode and type visual. If I type here visual, it is directly taken to VI mode that we can see practically also Q, quit. Now, finally, our editor VI editor available. So, when we are entering into VI editor, several commands available. Let me explain one by one all these commands and I said already three modes available alias names also I said. What are the alias names available here? Character editor, user friendly editor and I made very clearly it contains two modes or three modes command mode, insert mode, ex command mode. Why I said first two modes means ex command mode is one of the parts in command mode only. Right? Anyway, three modes available here. Command mode is the default mode. Here several commands available. You want to move the cursor, see the commands available. J or return, return means enter or down arrow, move cursor down one line, up arrow, backspace, space, zero. Like this several commands making VI editor simple, easy and convenient way. So, these all commands we can execute also practically. And W is W nothing but move cursor to beginning of the next word. Every next word beginning cursor is moving. B, move the cursor back to beginning of the preceding word like this options available and you want to move pages also available screen manipulation. It represents control F means forward one screen, control B and backward one screen like that several characters available. These are comes under command mode. If you want to see insert mode, adding, changing and deleting text when you are pressing I, small i meaning is different, capital I meaning different, small o meaning different, capital O like the small a, capital A, like the different different commands available, small i, insert text before cursor, capital I, insert text at beginning of current line until you hit the escape key. So, like this A append, capital E append text end, it is after cursor and O like this several options available. Same insert mode, we can able to delete the text also, how to delete and several options available. X is nothing but delete single character under cursor and wherever the cursor is, NX, N number of characters, DW, deleting, W is nothing but words. DNW, I wrote very clearly the syntax also. D, N means 5, W, delete 5 words. Like this, several commands on your insert mode. So, finally, exit, that is nothing but EX command mode. Colon is the prompt, after that one, we are giving the particular letter and pressing enter. That is EX command mode we are calling. So, here several commands available, already we are seeing on your screen, clearly all these commands. These commands one by one, I will try to execute with shell programming level also. First initially VI editor I will show you, first observe. And file name is NIT, observe properly that and top of the screen as well as bottom, file name, four lines, 
94 characters and move the cursor up and down and observe how the lines are moving and it is indicating very clearly and down left or side arrows also we can move and we will observe the movement also. I also we can insert mode already converted into and escape this is a command mode. I insert mode we can enter any lines of data. Hello guys you are learning Unix editors like this number of lines you can enter. Escape I want to convert into command mode. So, you want to remove this line and you can press DD otherwise undo U and you want to remove current line DD delete the current line and you want to get back undo completed. So, you want to do that U and previous lines are coming all options whatever we are performing on ASCII formatted files every action we can do in the VI editor in Unix flowers only we are calling VI in Linux flowers we are calling as visually improved V I M shift escape button shift colon observe ex command mode prompt W save the options Q exit W Q means save and exit hit the return key. So, this is about your editors overview. So, all these editors related information you required man and VI. It provides a big manual pages related to VI. Thank you for watching my videos. For more videos, log in into youtube.com slash Naresh IT.